The world's views on same-sex weddings are changing. It is difficult to see laws and regulations that hurt so many people. It is equally good to see how the worldview on same-sex weddings is progressing. Fact, in the USA, the LGBT plus people are targeted for hate crimes more than any other minority group. Same-sex marriage legalization around the world. Do you know that the first country to allow gay marriages? This was the Netherlands. Figures, doesn't it? In 2001, other parts of Europe followed the lead of the Netherlands. It took until 2015 before the United States allowed legalized marriages between LGBT couples. In Argentina, you can marry your partner, but it is illegal for men to have sex with other men in Singapore. But the law is not enforced. As the spread of awareness happens, more countries are allowing people to have a choice in being able to legally marry someone of their same gender. Last year brought a lot of right to the LGBT community. Greenland joined the list of legalized marriage, and in May of 2016, Colombia allowed Jose Manuel Ticora and Diego Fernando Kumbaya O oh, to become the first gay couple to exchange legal vows. Belize ruled that criminal code banning gay sex was unlawful. Countries that allow gay marriage. As of today, same sex marriage is legally recognized wholly or in part in the following countries Argentina, Belgium, Brazil, Canada. Colombia, Denmark, Finland, France, Iceland, Ireland, Luxembourg, Mexico, Netherlands, New Zealand, Norway, Portugal, South Africa, Spain, Sweden, the United Kingdom, and the United States. While we've seen headway where gay marriage rights are concerned, a struggle remains. Gay rights have swept Latin America. It has overcome religious and cultural beliefs to have found a stronghold in many Latin countries. Spain legalized gay marriage in 2005. Argentina, Brazil, Uruguay, and some parts of Mexico followed. Despite the legalization, gay people sometimes face extreme violence in the more remote areas of Latin America. While five Mexican states have legalized gay marriage, an attempt to make gay marriage a federal right was defeated. A lesbian girl in Mexico City was caused so much grief over who she was that she left school. While in school, she was ordered to wear her hair in a more feminine manner, not to touch any other girls, and she could only use the restroom if a school staff member accompanied her. In 2015, she protested outside the school gates. The school eventually apologized to her. The dark side of the LGBT plus fight. Even though 64% of Australians favor legalizing gay marriage rights, the legal right remains unavailable. Russia decriminalized gay sex in 1993, but tracked back and introduced a law banning the promotion of what Parliament calls non-traditional sexual relations. A whopping 72 countries still have criminal penalties for consensual gay sex, despite having positive attitudes towards gay rights. These 10 countries have a death sentence for men caught having gay sex. Iran, Afghanistan, Saudi Arabia, Yemen, Somalia, Sudan, Mauritania, Nigeria, Qatar, and the United States Arab Emirates. Uganda lesbians are under attack. 
In Uganda, corrective rape is reported to still be happening to lesbians. Lesbians are not afraid of the law, but of the attitude and the Ugandan mob justice. Uganda holds the most draconian anti-gay laws in Africa. In 2014, the president signed the Anti-Homosexuality Act into prison. For people convicted of homosexuality, life in prison. And there is also a required telling your neighbor requirement. Ugandans are supposed to report anyone they think might be gay. In a few short months after the law was put into rule, the Constitutional Court declared the Anti-Homosexuality Act null and void due to a procedural error. Even though the anti-homosexual law has been dropped, gay sex is still illegal with life in prison under colonial era law. Gay couples hide. They cannot announce their relationship or even sit together. Life shouldn't be like this. No matter where you identify in the LGBT or LGBTQIA+, I know you have struggled and will continue to struggle. There is help and support for you, though. I offer the support to help you get past some of the subconscious and conscious issues that people and situations have caused you. With hypnosis, I help you deal with these traumas in a non-threatening and easy way. Hypnosis can help you feel a greater sense of freedom, control, and happiness. Despite what you have encountered in your journey to be recognized as you. If you are near Los Angeles, I can see you in my professional office. If you're further away, I work through effective, online sessions no matter where you live. 